Hello YouTubers, and welcome to Blue Ankylos Next Let's Play. Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, and possibly the expansion Alien Crossfire, depending on how things go. Um, this video though is just a test video, mostly in regards to the audio and video settings, so I can get it right before I start the official Let's Play. But I am actually looking forward to some, uh, some suggestions from anyone who finds this video as to game settings, because as I'll explain later, I actually don't know this game hardly at all. But for now, I want to uh, continue the introduction by making a small cut and seeing if uh, I can show you guys the, uh, the intro video, because apparently, well, they're fairly difficult to show off and record. So let's see if this And here we are, folks. If this is showing up for you, then I have succeeded in capturing the introduction video to the game Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. I will be quiet for the test. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden. He drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the Tree of Life. The Conclave Bible, Data Links. One of the best things about this game is the voice acting and the quotes and stuff. I quite like it. So hopefully this is coming through correctly for you guys. I spent quite a lot of time playing with these video files so I could get them to show in full screen. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now, they are originally very, very small video files, only, I think, 100 by 200 pixels or so, give or take. So obviously there's not going to be a lot of high quality at this, uh, at this kind of resolution. But yeah, I was thinking I could show these off. Um, so assuming this all plays properly, I apologize for the little thing there, I have to check how long this video is. Um, yeah, should be interesting. So this is the introduction to the first game, the opening video not the uh, the Alien Crossfire, the expansion. I can, I can do that one next video, perhaps. But uh, you learn a bit about the story coming up soon. So let's listen, I think. But uh, yeah, we started on planet Earth and uh, spaceships sent out into, uh, well, towards Alpha Centauri, let's say. It's pretty awesome. I'm sh I know you guys are gonna start talking pretty soon, so. I don't want to interrupt him when he gets going. Earth 2060. A small group of colonists leaves the ravages of Earth for a distant planet orbiting Alpha Centauri's primary star. Their ship, the United Nations starship Unity, carries them on their journey to a new world and a new hope for humankind. What could possibly go wrong? Along the way, a reactor malfunction damages the Unity. Or that. Precipitating a crisis among the ship's seven most powerful leaders. As they enter the Alpha Centauri system, the crew splits into seven distinct factions, divided not by nationality, but by ideology and their vision for the new world. After the ship breaks apart, the seven leaders guide their chosen crew down to the surface of planet, the chosen ones. seeking their destiny beneath an alien sky. Alright folks, so assuming that all went smoothly, you should have seen a video uh, from the opening cutscene of, uh, of the game, the, the original game that is, not the, not the expansion pack. So uh, you got to see uh, old Earth and as it was getting old and destroyed, seven, uh, well a fancy spaceship with seven pods flew off to colonize a new planet called, uh, well, we'll see about that later. I think this Alpha Centauri is actually the name of the star system, right? I think that's how it goes. Anyway. Um, we'll get into the story stuff once I start the actual game, but I, I just wanted to show the opening cutscene and see how it would work. In the, the, as I've sort of discovered for this game, recording it's rather difficult. I've had to pull out some new software and do some fancy editing to get things to show up, like that video. So having to play it separately in a, in a different window kind of things, stuff like that. So let me know how it looks, and if that's good, that's good. Now, on to the game. Now, assuming by now the audio and video settings are covered, I want to talk a little bit about game settings. Now. I actually missed this game when it came out. I never played it. I played the Civilization series, 1 and 2 and 3 and so on. Uh, maybe not 1, but I, I played a lot of them back in the day. And lots of other PC strategy games. But I missed this one. It, it flew under my radar and for some reason I never even heard about it till uh, about a year ago maybe. I watched, uh, maybe you heard of Quill18. He did a Let's Play or two of this. And Grimith, also someone I've watched, has played a, a, a series on this. 
So um, I watched their two series and I really enjoyed it. And I thought, hey, I could play this game. And maybe I would play a, a Let's Play of it. So my plan is a Let's Play that's not uh, not like an elite Uber Let's Play. Like I'm not going to be a pro. I'm a, I'm a newbie just starting out. But I really want to get into the story of the game and the lore. So it's going to be a, a more of a relaxed, um, taking my time, just trying the game out and trying to trying to, to get into the game, to get into the role play, if you know what I mean. Uh, and that's that's my plan anyway. Hopefully it works out. So uh, what I am looking forward from you guys, hopefully looking to forward to, is any suggestions from people who know the game a little bit better uh, as to some 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 map settings. I'm going to assume map of the planet for normal size will be the way. Um, I don't know about difficulties honestly. I don't know if I should play on the newbiest or maybe second or third. I don't know this game very well, but I have played lots of other games. I'm fair. I'm quite familiar with Civilization and and even these older versions of Civilizations. But uh, I don't know how this game's difficulty ramps up. So maybe I should play Citizen or Specialist. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't want it to be too easy. But again, I would overall like this Let's Play to be not too stressful. And I don't know the game. So anyway. Um, Rules I'm very interested in because lots of these change looks it looks like they change how the game will play and I'm certainly not uh, 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 Familiar with most of these rules, so if, if people have suggestions on ones they really think I should turn off um, You know, I think random events sounds cool and stuff like that, but but I don't know maybe um, maybe stealing text is really important or uh, slower tech rate, you know, I, I don't know maybe some of these settings are really important or would make more sense or maybe I should really have uh, not diplomatic victory on because say the AI is going to use that to kill me if I'm not careful. I don't know, something like that. Point is, suggestions on rules I appreciate. Um, as to which faction to play, I'll decide that later on. There's the seven original factions and for those of you new to the series, I will go over these guys a little bit um, on the first video. Uh, but for now there's those seven and if I do in install the expansion, uh, or it is in it's installed, but if I choose to play the expansion, um, which again, that's another thing you guys can chime in on if you think that's a good idea or not. I am looking for the story purposes, sort of the beginning of uh, Alpha Centauri, uh, so the actual planet fall type stuff. Um, but maybe having the expansion pack installed is worth it, but it adds seven more factions as well, I believe. So that's something to talk about. Uh, lots of things to talk about for this video. Landing, um, particularly beautiful one thing I want to mention colonies. over top of uh, Lady Deidre here is colonies. I really like the voice acting and I think the quotes are awesome. So when I do my Let's Play, itself. I will Never be um, to listening to these uh, very in depth, or Lady with, Sky, I don't know what the word is, but I'll, I'll be listening to these and commenting on them because I'll be thinking about them. I, I think uh, some of the writing in this game is, is superb, so um, that's part of my plan. So anyway, let's just show the brief game off, um, just to make sure that this uh, video setting works and everything. You may be, if you used to play this game back in the day on, uh, I don't know, 386 or something, um, you would have noticed that uh, the menu is a little bit different. Uh, normally this would line up to the edge of the map and uh, the text would be larger. Um, so it kind of feels like we're zoomed out, per maybe, if, if, that, if that explains it. Um, the, if you want to know the technical details, just briefly, uh, to get this thing to record, I have to have direct draw enabled, which forces the game to the monitor's native resolution, which is 1080p for me and probably most of you, uh, I would assume anyway nowadays. So um, the only way I could get it to record was to force that and that kind of makes the game zoom out like this. So unfortunately it may be slightly more difficult for you guys to actually read some of the text on these things. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Because um, it's a little bit further zoomed out than maybe the normal uh, base game. Because uh, I think it's the thing runs at like 480 by 320 or something. Something around that kind of level just on its own. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully just want to see on YouTube if this stuff is readable or not and uh, that'll be good enough for me. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, you can, if this looks really odd, I can zoom in a little bit. Um, we can go full zoom in. So I might end up playing the game a little bit closer here and there so you can see kind of the actual tiles and stuff on the ground. Uh, what is it? Shift right click to select stuff and you can see sort of what's what's going on with the various tiles. We got some some nutrient, no, no these are like energy crystals, right? Uh, whatever. Uh, you can kind of see what they do. I, I'm not an expert on this by any means. Yeah, this is for energy or something. Minerals. That's one. Sorry. Minerals, energy, and nutrients. We'll get into the game once I start playing it. For now, I'm just trying to test video more than anything. So, Please I think... Uh, oops, no, that's the wrong the one. Drones need you. I want to go back to the main menu so that it doesn't quit on me. 
and wrap this video up. So fairly short introductory video. Feel free to leave comments on the audio and video settings because I'm still tweaking them. It's taking me a little bit longer. And uh, definitely anyone who knows the game better than me, if you've got suggestions for game settings, map settings, rules, preferences, stuff like that, I'm still really uh, just trying to sort the video settings out. I haven't gotten that far myself. So I'm looking forward to any input on some of that stuff. Um, but there you go. So um, probably, I don't know how soon, but within a week or so, I'll probably start a Let's Play for this game. And it uh, should be a lot of fun. So hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for episode one of Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri with me, Blue Angel.